good morning good morning everyone i am dr kijay bahadur singh working as assistant professor of chemistry in the department of applied sciences and humanities i am an mt group of colleges greater noida today i am going to discuss about the molecular orbital theory as we already know the molecular orbital theory was initially uh, prepared by or proposed by hund and molikan to describe the structure and properties of different molecules and uh, molecular orbital theory is often abbreviated as mot the basic or important features of molecular orbital theory are listed here the total number of molecular orbitals formed will always be equal to the total number of atomic orbitals offered by the bonding species such as if two atoms combine together the number of atomic orbitals combining will give rise to the equal number of molecular orbitals second is the, uh, there exist different type of molecular orbitals when atomic orbitals combine to give rise to molecular orbitals there are three kind of molecular orbitals synthesized or formed bonding molecular orbital anti bonding molecular orbital and non bonding molecular orbital of these anti bonding molecular orbitals will always have higher energy than the parent orbitals whereas bonding molecular orbitals will always have lower energy than the parent atomic orbitals the electrons are filled into molecular orbitals in the increasing order of orbital energy that is according to arbaugh's principle as well as hund's principle the pairing of electron taking place uh when each orbital contain one electron in it the most effective combination of atomic orbitals occur when the combining orb atomic orbitals have similar energies that is uh, the combining atoms atomic orbitals must have similar or near about uh, equal energy to give effective combination in terms of uh, molecular orbital theory uh, we can say that atoms tend to combine together and form molecular orbitals each molecular orbital is associated with the wave function denoted by psi and the probability of finding electron is given by psi square the wave function of molecular orbital can be obtained by linear combination of atomic orbitals it can be uh, additive of the atomic orbitals uh, for bonding molecular orbitals and in case of anti bonding molecular orbitals the subtractive nature of wave functions was Uh, appeared the shape and size of the molecular orbital is determined by shapes and sizes of atomic orbitals from which they are formed the electrons are filled in various molecular orbitals according to arbaugh's principle hund's principle and pauling's exclusion exclusive principle the condition for uh, formation of molecular orbitals are listed here there are basic three important conditions first one is the uh, similar energy of combining orbitals second one is the same symmetry about molecular axis and the third one is the proper overlap between atomic orbitals as we already know the combination of atomic orbital giving rise to the formation of molecular orbital takes place when the combining orbitals have nearly equal energy or same energy such as the combination of 2s and 2s orbital uh, give rise to the effective combination and resulting in the formation of molecular orbital but in case of 1s and 2p the energy difference between these two orbital is much high therefore the combination will be not uh, effective and does not give rise to the formation of molecular orbitals in the similar way the combining atom should have the same symmetry around the molecular axis for proper combination otherwise the electron density will be sparse that is the combining orbitals such as 2s and 2s must have the similar symmetry about the molecular axis and for p orbitals the p orbitals all the p orbitals have the similar energy but still to pz orbital of an atom can only combine with the 2pz because both have a similar a uh, molecular axis symmetry but in case of 2px and 2py and 2pz all have different molecular axis symmetry and cannot combine effectively with uh, 2ps cannot combine effectively with the 2pz and 2py can also be uh, not effectively combined with the 2pz orbital because uh, it is 
perpendicular to the other both two axes. Third one is a proper overlap between atomic orbitals. When atoms combine together, the overlapping must be or taken place if the combining orbitals uh, have proper overlap then the greater the extent of overlap of orbitals, greater will be the nuclear density between the nuclear two atoms. If the two atoms combined together has had to head overlap, the overlapping area will be maximum and giving the rise to the nuclear density, higher nuclear density between the two nuclei of the combining atom. The condition can be understood by the simple requirement for the formation of proper molecular orbital, proper energy and orientation are required. That is, there are three basic needs for the formation of molecular orbital. First one is the same energy, second one is the same symmetry, and third one is the proper overlap of the combining orbitals giving rise to the molecular orbitals. Here is the representation of formation of molecular orbital. Uh, in the first part, 2s atomic orbital is combining with the 2s atomic orbital. Both are represented with the similar uh, uh, circles that is white circle, white circle uh, yeah, giving information that both have the similar symmetry. When the two 2s orbitals of similar symmetry combine together, giving rise to a formation of sigma bond, and their nuclear density will uh, combine together, giving rise to the large nuclear density around the uh, combining atoms. But in case of second example, 2s orbital, first 2s orbital is represented with the white circle while the two, second 2s orbital is represented with a black circle. That is, both the orbitals have different symmetry. If the two orbitals have different symmetry combined together, then the formation of antibody molecular orbital takes place and there will be a sparse of nuclear density. And we can see here, uh, there is a plane between the uh, nuclear, nuclear density or electron density uh, where the electron cannot be found uh, in case of 2pz, 2pz, if both the loops having the same symmetry combined together, giving rise to the sigma bonding formation and sigma bonding molecular orbital. But if the 2pz orbital combined together with a different symmetry, the anti bonding molecular orbital will form. Similarly, in next example, the 2px and 2px are combining here with the lateral overlap. In case of lateral overlap, formation of pi bond takes place. But due to similar symmetry formation of bonding molecular orbital takes place. But in case of 2px and 2px, where one lobe of one white lobe of the first orbital is the upper side, while the other lobe uh, white lobe of the second one is downside. That is, the combination will be of different symmetry orbitals, giving rise to the formation of anti-bonding molecular orbital, but due to uh, lateral overlapping, the formation of pi bond takes place. Here is the energy probability in molecular orbitals was represented. Here we can see that the 1s orbital and 1s orbital combined together both have the positive sign that is both have similar symmetry combined together giving rise to the formation of sigma 1s atomic or molecular orbital and the nuclear densities of both the atoms combined together are uh, giving rise to the formation of constructive interference uh, bonding molecular orbital. But in case of second example, we see here uh, first 1s orbital is represented with a positive sign and a yellow color, but second 1s is a blue color that is both have different symmetry. When different symmetry atomic orbitals combine together, giving rise to the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital formed via destructive interference between the wave functions of the two atomic orbitals, giving rise to the anti bonding molecular orbital. And as you know, in the in, uh, figure D, the anti bonding molecular orbital have a nodal plane between the uh, lobes of the a molecular orbital where the electron density will be zero. The basic difference between the bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital is represented. So in case of bonding molecular orbital, it is formed by addition overlap of atomic orbitals. The wave function of bonding molecular orbital is given by uh, psi molecular orbital uh, is equal to psi A plus psi A. That is the a uh, wave function of the molecular orbital is always equal to the combination of or addition of both the wave functions um, of the atomic orbitals combined together. But in case of entry bonding, the it is it for, uh, formed by a subtraction overlap, and its formula can be written as psi star molecular orbital is equal to psi a minus psi a. That is the wave function must be subtracted to give uh, to obtain the molecular orbital of the anti bonding.
wave function of the antibody molecular orbital. Its formation takes place when the lobes of the tongue are with the same sign. In case of bonding molecular orbital, the formation takes place when the atomic orbitals have the same sign. But in case of anti-bonding uh, formation takes place, lobes of atomic orbitals have different signs. When both the combining orbitals have different sign and uh, overlap together, giving rise to the formation of anti-bonding molecular orbitals. The energy of bonding molecular orbital is bonding molecular orbital is uh, lower than the parent atomic orbitals combined together, but in case of anti-bonding molecular orbital, the energy will be higher as compared to the combining atomic orbitals. Uh, in case of bonding molecular orbital, electron density is high and the region between the nuclear bonded atom, but in case of anti-bonding molecular orbital nuclei, uh, region between the nuclei, electron density is low. The electron, every electron in bonding molecular orbital can go towards the attractive forces. In case of bonding molecular orbital, uh, electron contribute towards attractive forces, but in case of anti-bonding molecular orbital, electron contributes towards repulsive forces. Here is a representation of 2,2-Z orbital combination. And in the first example, the 2,2-Z-2P-Z orbitals combine together with the positive sign uh, overlap. And we find that the both the lobes will combine together and giving rise to constructive interference and the formation of 2pz bonding molecular orbital here both the positive lobes combined together are added and in case of second example the 2pz and 2pz orbitals combining with the opposite sign in globe towards each other and giving rise to a formation of anti-bonding molecular orbital both the lobes are uh, found smaller due to destructive interference uh, it is a molecular orbital representation of a uh, 1s orbital. When 1s orbital combined with the 1s orbital, since two orbitals are combined together, the formation of two molecular orbital takes place. First one is the sigma, that is bonding molecular orbital, while the second one is sigma star, anti bonding molecular orbital. And 1s orbital having one electron, and 1s orbital having one electron, that is total two electrons are participating here. Then the form filling of electron will take place according to our Bauss principle. Both the cons will be filled in the sigma bonding molecular orbital. The difference between sigma and pi molecular orbitals are represented here. What are sigma molecular orbitals? It is formed by the overlap of atomic orbitals along the internuclear axis. Uh, it is due to the head on overlap. The overlap is maximum. It consists of one electron cloud. It, its electron cloud is symmetrical about the internuclear axis. That is, a sigma molecular orbital is formed by head-to-head -head overlapping between the combining atomic orbitals and it gives the maximum area of overlapping that is strong bond formation takes place. But in case of pi molecular orbital, it is formed by the sidewise overlapping of the atomic orbitals and due to sidewise overlapping, overlapping is the minimum that is formation of weaker bond takes place as compared to sigma bond. It consists of two electron clouds, one lying above and the other lying below a plane passing through the nuclei. Its electron cloud is not symmetrical about the internuclear axis. The next one is determination of bond order. As we already know, the bond order indicates the strength of a bond. The higher the bond order, the stronger is the bond. Bond order can be calculated by the formula. Bond order is equal to Nb minus Na by 2, where Nb is the number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital, while Na is the number of electrons in the anti bonding molecular orbital. Stability of the molecules. How can we use bond order as a cal um, property to, cal to calculate the stability of the molecule. If the bond order is zero, then no bonds are produced and the molecule is not stable. The molecule will not exist. For example, in case of helium, if uh, we calculate the uh, dihelium, uh, bond order of the dihelium, we find that the bond order will be zero. That is, helium 2 does not exist. Helium exists as a mono atomic system. If the bond order is one, then it is a single covalent bond. If the bond order is two, it will be representing there are two bonds between the combining atoms. Higher the bond order, the more stable the molecule is. And the next one is the, if the bond order is in fraction, the compound or molecule will not be stable. Now, the ex uh, here is the example of uh, molecular orbital diagram of hydrogen molecule. 
as we already know hydrogen has a uh, 1s uh, 1s1 electronic configuration that is 1s orbital combined with a 1s orbital having one electron in each orbital combined together giving rise to the formation of two molecular orbitals sigma 1s and sigma 1 star as we already know molecular or bonding molecular orbital has lower energy as compared to uh, parent atomic orbitals and the anti bonding has higher energy then the filling of electron will take place according to our Bauer's principle and both the electrons will be filled in the sigma 1s orbital and the bond order will be nb minus na upon 2 where nb represents number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital that is 2 and n a number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbital that is 0 2 minus 0 by 2 that is 1 this means that the two hydrogen atoms are bonded together by a single covalent bond and the molecule will be stable. Uh, here we are representing a uh, uh, molecular orbital diagram of nitrogen molecule. As we know, nitrogen molecule has a configuration of 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. Therefore, 1s orbital combined with the 1s orbital giving rise to the formation of two molecular orbitals, sigma 1s and sigma 1s star. Similarly, 2s orbital combined with the 2s orbital giving rise to the two molecular orbitals sigma 2s and sigma star 2s and the 3p atomic orbitals combined together with the 3p of the another nitrogen and giving rise to the formation of six uh, molecular orbitals 2 pi 2px pi 2py sigma 2pz pi star 2px pi star 2p1 sigma star 2pz and the filling of the forms takes place via Arbaugh's principle and uh, Horn's rule and Pauli's exclusion principle and we see here the uh, electronic representation are represented very neatly and it represents a diamagnetic nature of the uh, nitrogen molecule. All the electrons are paired, and if we calculate the bond order, the we use formula nb minus n upon 2. The total number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 minus number of electrons in anti bonding molecular orbital that is 4 then minus 4 the 6 by 2 that is 3 that is two nitrogen atoms are, are combining each other with the three sigma uh, three covalent bonds and it is stable molecule uh, now we are representing a molecular orbital diagram of O2 molecule both the oxygen combined together giving rise to the formation of a uh, molecular orbital of oxygen and we see here the electronic configuration represented that uh, two electrons are unpaired in case of oxygen molecule. Both the oxygen molecules, uh, unpaired electrons, giving rise to the uh, paramagnetic nature of oxygen molecule, and the bond order will be two in that case. And here is the representation of molecular orbital diagram of CO carbon uh, carbonyl, and we see here. Uh, the all the electrons are paired and that is uh, it is diamagnetic in nature and the bond order will be three in that case thank you everyone for listening and i hope that you will enjoy the lecture and uh, everyone has uh, enough knowledge about the MOT or brief, uh, I think I have tried to give you a brief introduction about the MOT molecular orbital theory and you will be able to understand the basic features of the molecular orbital theory. Thank you.